Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Quad V, where we are bringing you guys the low bracket quarterfinals, I believe, playing it out for a position in the semifinals. And I am Menace. We are going to be playing Fragmasters versus Volatile Gaming on Crash first map. And uh, let's jump on right into the game. They have done the knife. It looks like Volatile will be on the attacking side, Fragmasters, on defense. As a, a quick little rush round down here for Volatile, we have Kex, Alpha, Leonidas, The Punisher, Pansy, and then for Fragmasters, we have Soka, Minxka, Peter, Blazy, and Vey. Of course, Peter going massive early with his one versus four to keep his game, or to keep his team in it in uh, the game versus TCM. Either way, starting it off here with Kex. Scope in hand, scopes down be long, not going to be finding anything. Now moving alongside Alpha as he pushes down that streak. Minsk and Vey having other plans for them though. Drops both of them. Now Volatile trying to find a way to push. Looks like Punisher has got one just in front of him. Off to his right hand side. Minsk takes him out though, saving his teammate. Leo is now the last man left and he is crawling it down B long. And he does spot Minsk and Minsk spots him. He's heavily tagged up, trying to get away. SMG fire spraying him down. Won't be able to get out of that one very soon. And now, all on his own, one versus five. Fragmasters not giving this one the chance, and they are going to be waiting it back. They will wait for Leo to make his move. Grabs himself the first one, although Soka coming in from that glitch roof is going to take him out. Leo drops, and that is going to be Fragmasters' first round. Only losing one player that round. Minxka, two frags. Peter yet to find anything, but it's still early in the game. And can't call anything just yet. Take it away here with Punisher. He's got a very fast spawn onto this A side with SMG in hand. Rushing forward takes out Vey. Vey clearly not expecting anything like that. We'll see Punisher throw out a flash. Try and confuse his enemy of a Minx. Got on that sandbags once again, coming to save his team. And doing it oh so well. Now Alpha will finally shut him down. Volatile pushing into this A side. Vey and Blazy, only two left standing for Fragmasters. Hands is sitting towards back A. Blazy takes her out. Kex moves forward now, trying to help out his teammates, give him some reinforcements. And finds his teammate on the stairs there. Looks like it's going to be a very tough task for Fragmasters to get back into this one. Alpha takes out Blazy. And Soki, your last man standing. Kex in there with that Deagle. And that's going to bring it back to 1 1. Very nice attacking round there from Volatile as they push that A site so fast. Now, of course, Volatile having having won their game over Hijinx did actually take it or won it, win it in the third map after coming back from 11 8 down. So they definitely have been getting in a couple extra games. Of course, you saw Fragmos is being locked, knocked down into the lower brackets by Team Kulamost off going into a, into a three map. Or into three maps, two of the maps going into overtimes. So, of course, Fragmos is fired up to make their way back into their final and claim what they Explosive no doubt will feel is definitely deserved a win from them. Nature pushes forward, he's got one below him. Alpha takes out Soka. Peter onto Kex. Now, Fragmos still have that one player down. Peter Deagle's down, Alpha pushing forward with that AK, grabs the shot there. On to Minska. That is Leo. And now Peter, your last man standing, takes out Punisher. Goes for the peg, pushes down his stairs. Really good timing from him. And he will be able to get that frag. Puts his team back into it. Takes that round lead. And now it's all about where the Volatile can just hold calm. And keep that attack up. They can go round for round. And they'll definitely be ended going on to the defending side. The defending side, arguably the easier side for most teams. Peter really claiming his name back into that one. 5-1 for him at the moment. After just three rounds, Punisher pushes forward into Hardware, takes out Blazy. That's going to scare Fragmos just a little bit. They're going to definitely pay some attention to the player on Hardware now. And no doubt want to stop him as quickly as they can. And Minska dedicating all his attention there onto that. Takes out Punisher with a very nice little slim headshot. And with that, moving a little bit closer in. And Minsk is sitting back. Volatile dropping. Blaze is the only one to have gone down for this round. For the Fragmaster side, I say that. Leo takes up Minsk. Kex down on that B alley. And, and with that, I will have Mr. Machine joining me. Well, hello there. 
So another voice added into the stream yep. so far. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, just dropping by. Now we'll soak on this B bomb side. He is holding it. There's one off to his right hand side. Peter takes out Leo. Kex, your last man standing. Golden AK in hand. Still has his scope just in case. But unbeknownst to him. Wow, what? Soaker, what are you doing? Pay attention, lad. Look at your screen. But unfortunately for Kex, the bomb is far away from him. If it's been called or not, shall only be known by the Fragmaster's side. Kex now needs to start making headwind towards that bomb. Has spotted Peter. Does Peter know though? No, he doesn't. Kex is coming up behind him, and Kex makes loads of noise. Sorry, Peter makes loads. Of, yeah, Kex makes loads of noise. Peter turns around, grabs the frag onto him. Kex now running towards that back A. Vay is just casually going to walk up those stairs. He knows there's not anywhere near enough time for for Kex to move in to try and grab the frag against him. Either way. Now, uh, Kex moving back, going to be throwing out his early nade. And uh, from joining into the match, what's what's going through your mind right now? Well, this is the, I think this is the first map. I haven't missed mm -hmm. much, have I? No, okay. So, well, my mind, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Fragmasters are looking strong. I think they, they they are good at this map. I think I think myself played against them, and I have to say, their their attack especially is a is a treat to watch. So we'll see how this defense plays out. At the moment, it's going very well. Three one. V at a bit of disadvantage. My volatile, sorry. A bit of disadvantage, and at the moment, not much looking. Kind of, there's no much, not much hope for them. One pushing T wall now. Not no peaks going to go from Fragmasters, and that's something you can expect from Fragmasters. Is very little peaking. You see them, then they will not move. Once they've got their spots, and once they know that they can stop that plant going down, they aren't going to move. And you have to come to them, and that is what makes them such a good team. Some call it keen or over keen or whatever this word is. It's it's discipline. They're trying to win, and exactly. that's a pretty standard thing from a top team. That's what you try and do at uh, competition. And we see they wrap that round up, exactly. So they're at a competition, they've paid money to come and play the game, and they're not allowed to play their hardest. It makes very little sense to me. Now Pansy not having the best of luck right now. She's currently on 0 for 5. Now uh, we're going to see quickly what they can do. Uh, let's actually stick with her for a moment, seeing what she's going to be doing with this SMG attack side. Pushing forward, makes her way all the way down to Link. Mixka takes out Alpha though. Can Pansy find her first frag? And as far forward as she has pushed, she hasn't really got much of her team with her. Going to be crawling out this hardware area. Did she make a sound? Punisher takes out Minska. You can just see her hidden there, just behind a PC on the screen. It looks like she's not going anywhere just yet. I don't know if she's waiting for a team to move in, but they haven't been doing that so far. So they're not going to be doing it any sooner. Pansy picks up a first flag onto Soka. The battlefield livens up there for a moment as Leonidas takes out Vey. And now Fragmasters trying to come back into this one. Pansy tags a Peter, but Peter quickly ducks away. Where is Blazy? Blazy lands the shot there onto Leonidas. He'll be the first line of defense if they do decide to go towards this B-bomb. Blazy does need to be careful there. There's a player up in towards mid. Peter overextending himself. And Pansy going to punish him for it. Blazy has the bomb in sight though. Pansy, can she grab a third of the round? She's going back to pick up that bomb. Going to make her way back towards A. Actually, no, sitting back instead. Oh, and re peaks. Blazy waiting patiently. And that's going to be 5-1 in favor of Fragmasters. And looking so strong right now. As we do see... There we go. We're to, sorry about that. My mic was just a little bit muted. I'm gonna go ahead with. See, let's go. Let's go with that. Let's go with Punisher again as he's going. Oh, he's already in hard with the smoke working perfectly, doing exactly what it needs to. He's already picked up a nade frag onto Minsk at the scope for a fragmas that's on that sandbag there. One red dot and just below him in the form of Blazy, as he does catch him off guard on the way back towards B. There's another player there. Whether or not marks are ready for him is it every question. No, he's not. Soka was on B and chin chilling on that red car. Peter though. Playing back A once again. He's going to look to try and rotate, but there's sure he must be expecting a player to be there. There is a player there in the form of Leonidas. And in fact, an SMG partner of his. Who is that on green car? Pansy. Pansy is basically holding that A rotate with Leonidas. Hand held, head held high, pardon me, as she basically. Her plan is to stop this, this B bomb really having any issues. And the moment she's got a great spot to do so. Does, oh, Peter plays it perfectly, trying to bait her out of her fire, and it does. As Kex does pick up the frag onto Soka, meanwhile on the red car, I mean that B bomb plant is possible until Vey comes from behind. Vey, brilliant communication with Peter there, managed to get the SMG to come around while Peter played with a <laughs> a 6-1 goes down. I need to stop talking right now. 
as 6-1 on the scoreboard, Fragmaster's pulling away. So it was great having you for the last two rounds, and we'll chat to you soon. <laughs> anyway, let's get back into this one. <coughs> one thing I have oh been noticing, though, is, wow, wow Kex with a brilliant shot there onto Minsko. No doubt, Minsko was not expecting that one. But one thing I have been noticing, oh, he's have been able to get into these situations where they get themselves so far forward into such good positions against frag monsters. But you know, frag monsters once once that once that volatile player gets that one frag, then frag monsters quick cleans it up, reforms or you know reforms re pulls out their tactics. I don't even know what you really call it, and uh, situates the, situates them situates <laughs> themselves <laughs> back into a good defensive position. So is this actually Soka or is, is this actually Vey or is it Soka that's left? This is. No, I mean, for Fragmasters. I'm just joined by the oh, right. scope, but. It is going to be Soka okay. because Vey has passed on to the dead side of this gaming world. Oof, Leonhard is heavily tagged up. Oh, Soka, so well played from him. The draws the fire onto Leonidas and then picks off. The last player there, or the second last player there for Volatile, Leonidas now walking up the wooden stairs, does find Blazy. Now what is Saika going to be doing with this? Moving forward, makes noise onto that wooden area, fakes the bomb, can he get the frag in time? <gasps> no he can't, Leo is going to come out on top of that one, Whoa. takes out Saika. And Leo, as you can see on that camera just then, you saw, he's, you know, they know that that's just one round and there's, you know, there's plenty mm -hmm. more in this half. I think Volatile are a little bit on edge at the moment. Nails. They have to try and stay chilled though. I mean, they have been playing quite a few games. They've pretty much been playing non-stop. You know, once they got knocked down, but playing it all along the lower brackets. And now Punisher starting us off once again. Going strong as they push forward, but Fragmos is just going to clean it up and they're going to build the defensive line once again. Brush themselves down. Literally, that is a brilliant way of explaining Fragmasters. They'd kind of, if they do lose those opening frags, they'll brush themselves down. Re literally just straight away start talking, what can we do to improve this, what we, what's going wrong, mid-game, and right now it's not going so well actually. So pace is a big factor against Fragmasters, I think that's worth mentioning. Not giving them that time to kind of adjust and get ready to uh, ad adapt to your attack, especially on attack actually. Now of course we see Peter the last Explosion. man standing, he has part of the one Ooh. on, wow, sandbags and Punisher actually, I was about to say coming out on top but really coming from the top. To, uh, to take out the last player there, Peter. And now, having a look over at the scoreboard, not too much here. Kex, of course, with that scope, playing so superbly so far. And then drop it away with Minska, though. Kex, as I speak about him, does show his true form, takes out Minska. Peter drops down to a nade. You know what? Blazy back onto Pansy, although the action is really. Going on and on and on towards this back A side. Alpha's going to go for this bomb plant. There are two plays to the good right now. Make that three plays to the good. As Punisher takes out Blaze. He can punish to get this loss one. No, he can't, but Kex is going to finish it off either way. Wow. So close once again. And 6 4 now your score and That gap really diminishing now Indeed. for the Fragmaster side. They had such a good lead. I can't help but think that Fragmaster's really, they'll be really upset if they don't get their 8 4. 8 4 minimum. You know, they, they were so far, well, so well ahead in three, three, three rounds in a row. Yeah, three rounds in a row for Volatile, and it looks to be extending once again as Kex does get the opening frag. Punisher once again pushing mid. He does this every round. Pansy kind of holding his hand as well as they kind of... Oh, Minx not going to let it happen this time, hopefully. Pansy hitting her caution hard as soon as she sees that. As Minx watching mid once again. The smoke making it a little bit more difficult as he does retreat back towards that B-bomb. Cautious, of course, of that B-only push. However, there is no one there to receive him. 4v4, the round's going to slow down. Almost to an absolute halt. Minx does have scope in hand, of course. I mean, Bialy is a breeze for him. Minx got a great scope. I do hold quite highly in my books, actually. I think I watched the game against Empire. We absolutely decimated. Really incredible stuff from him. Still, though, on A. Peter holding it steady once again. Let's actually get, let's go with one of the Volatile players. See how they're pushing in. Let's go with Pansy as she is in bottom. Mate. There's two players to receive. Vey gets the first frag onto Leonidas with a deal. Great play from him. Realizing nothing's coming up, and he just took that deagle and took advantage. 38 seconds at a time, not on Volatile's side. Going to have to start pushing. Pansy is the first to push. Looking for that person top A, but Peter is there straight away. Great team player, I have to say. Just as Vey disappears upstairs, Peter's there, and Vey gets the second. Great play from Fragmasters, have to say. And that's 7-4.
And now it's one of those moments, I mean, we saw how Fragmosters were struggling with that mid push that was going on, and then Minx could changing it out a little bit, taking that scope, and once he got his hands on an AK, he immediately fell back to an A defense. Oh, sorry, into that mid defense and was able to pick up a couple of players pushing down there, although a B push coming out here from the volatile side. It looks like Fragmosters are reacting to it just a little bit slowly. Minx go with a nade there onto Alpha, and Leonidas is going to be the third player pushing down there with that bomb. Soka. Although he's not going to realize he has got a player under him. Minska luckily saving him. And now Soka and Minska, the combo here. As they hold this B bomb side, Leonidas has nice. spotted Minska though, but what can you do when Minska spots you with his Deagle? And ooh, there's the well, answer Mark actually. Spots him with his SMG. The Punisher just comes around <laughs> the corner and lays a couple of rounds into Minska. But you know, the damage has been done really from Minska. I mean, he took two frags yeah. for his own life. And I mean, really doing good for his team right now. Has put them in the man advantage. And now Peter holding it quietly. Has made some money back here, oddly enough. Vay spots nice. Punisher moving in. And that means it's all down to Kex. He has got that bomb in hand. He's going to be going on onto this jump. Mm -hmm. Ooh, can he get it though? The, there we go. Finally does land that jump onto the glitch area. Ha has spotted Soka. Soka spotted him. It definitely did He's not mean to make sound Soka. there, did he? He did. I think he did try and go for that. Silent. That silent drop there right next to the Explosion the truck, but unfortunately he missed it just slightly. Does take out Soka. Soka really should have waited for the rest of his team to push in there. And I've actually got a player on B long. It is Peter, but Peter once again just waiting for Vay to get into a better position so that they don't get singled out here by Kex. I see Vay on camera as well and Pansy. Now Peter pushing around the corner. We do see Vay landing the frag there onto Kex. Peter going to get the defuse. That's going to take him to an 8 4. And like you said, that's really the half that they were looking for, and Explosive they did defeat. finally get it. On the scoreboard, though? Frag's not so spread, actually. Just I one mean, kind of underperformance from Pansy. Oh, no, Alpha as well. I did kind of miss that three. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and that really kind of brings down the team on a whole. Mm. I mean, you've got Kex on 14 frags at the moment. Top frag in the server. Whereas uh, the Frag Masters guy is going more for an 11 kind of 8-ish uh, thing well, between top and bottom. So looking a lot better for the Frag Masters guys. And uh, let's see if Minxa can find that counterpart scope. He's peeking it down that alley. Actually has found Kex. Oh, but is there anything else in this for him? Wow, mm. Kex quickly peeking out. Unfortunately, his shot doesn't connect. Alpha on that glitch roof. Gonna be peeking it down. Does have his golden AK with him. Will he be able to do anything with it though? Minxka pulling out an A to take out Leo. Moving forward. Minxka once again onto Alpha. And Peter with the double as he takes out the Punisher and Pansy. Kex now your last man standing. He's got an AK in his scope and a massive mission in front of him. And it really does not look so good for him. Five Frag Monster players in front of him. And I will not be calling anything just as of yet. Although he is very far away and his chances really are slim. Looks like he's going to go for this little jump onto barrel. Gets himself a bit of an advantage. Oh, should have hit. Wow, that really looked like it was actually on the player there in mid arch. A little bit exposing himself here as he pushes towards the top of B alley. Spot aiming onto that broken wall. Minxa does take a tag, but Minxa won't be re won't be re peeking that. Doesn't need to at all. And Kex really just coming under so oh, much yeah. fire. Going to be giving it in towards the end, and that's going to be a nine four as. Frank Wells has now moved five rounds into the lead. Now, I'm personally, I just want to see Minx go. Let's go with Minx. I just want to see how he's... Oh, no, never mind. We've changed the I was. I want to see how they were holding mid against this kind of volatile push. Nonetheless, let's see how Kex is playing it. Let's punish him once again. He's landing all these nade frags. Vader's respond. We're actually revenge frag. So those two exchanging nades as it is back to four on four. Kex supporting A on Sandbags. Peter has red dotted in bottom A, supported by his compadre with the bomb in on Jenny's. As we just wait, Alpha playing Bialy very cautious. Doesn't have to do anything besides wait for that plant. As Soka looking for a peek. And this is this is a much more cautious volatile. We hadn't seen this on attack, and they are really now they have the opportunity to just sit in and wait. They can and they are, and that's something that I don't think we've seen quite recently from them. Yeah. Maybe the, the realization that this is fighting for a final, and the, maybe that they should really slow this round down against Frag Masters and so far for oh a oh, knife from Minx where word. did that occur there was on hardware Minx looking to get the second onto the sniper on sandbags not gonna happen Kex hitting his prone key hard as he escapes to spawn 40 seconds and Minx still thinks he's on sandbags Kex has done a great job to get away from him there as Kex still casting his eyes to hardware maybe he could do a bit more with it 
Nonetheless, he's not quite sure about Minsk's opinion on that. Still, though, looks to be a bit of a rotate to B from Fragmasters. Oh, for playing B, and that patience has paid off. Takes down Minsk. Can he get the second as well? And he's sitting on B bomb. That plant's definitely not going to go down while Alpha's alive. As Blazy, bomb in hand, starts pushing on 13 seconds. Got another choice, and Alpha, great job from Alpha. Patience paid off, and he was sat in that V alley, hitting that prone key for the entire time. So, really good play from him. 9 5. It really just looked like Fragmaster just slowly started, you know, I want to say nearly dribbling towards that B side <laughs> and slowly got wiped up by Volatile. And they really got to watch out for that. I mean, they have Ooh. got the pace within them, they have got the opportunities to push fast, you know, push forward very fast. But unfortunately, they're not utilizing it. And we do see Fragmasters only two players left of 20 seconds into the round. Uh, really putting them in a bad position right now. Alpha getting heavily tagged up. He's going to have to wait it back. Kex taking a peek on top of Bialy and just wow at his shot there onto Minska. Spots Ooh. another one. He's going to go for the flying shot. <gasps> Lands it onto Blazy. Ooh. What can you do when Kex is landing shots like that? No, Minska's not happy with that one. Is he his face disappointed as opposed to Kex? Who is, uh, is Yeah, Kex is very happy. Still, though, let's see what Quest can do this round then. As he does cast his eyes to mid. Pushing Ooh, mid, he does see his SMG mark and very aggressive onto that. Straight towards blue, and there's no one there to receive him. This nade could go well. That nade was brilliantly thought through as he does throw it towards Crash. Not going to succeed, though, as a B push is imminent for Fragmasters. Punisher looking to check. Oh, and he's called it short. Oh. I've been paying attention to these kills though. Only two players for Volatile remain. I was getting too excited with Mark's play. As you see, Kex with it all to do. Takes down Minx. They're not going to have him vape, putting the pressure on. Pansy responding though. 1v3. All on the lady from Volatile. Can. No, she can't. I was thinking that it was slightly possible, but 10 6, and Fragmasters commence their pull away. And now their difference really is just holding on to Fragmasters. They're not going to let it go just yet. They only need three more rounds to take the first map and force Volatile into choosing the second map, which of course will determine who will be going through to the Consolation Final versus Team Cooler Master. So now I say Consolation Final with the low bracket finals. And with that, Kex takes out Peter. Moving forward, it isn't Kex left. And where is he? He's moving towards that lower A side. And if anyone can clutch this right now, it is definitely Kex. And I will nearly put money on the fact that he's going to be doing it. Moves up on that bomb site. Do they know he's there? Oh, they no. don't. Takes out Minska. Blazy now. He's going to be scratching his head saying, wait a minute. I thought Scope. Far Suddenly away the situation stuff, became a bit awkward. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, but he does spot <gasps> Kex. No. no, he messes it up. What is Kex going to do in this situation now? It's going to be falling back to going to or go towards mid. Maybe try and bait it out here from Blazy. Blazy expecting a push up here. And if he re-peaks this doorway, Kex might actually get the shot off. Timing from either of these players. 35 seconds left on the clock. Blazy's going for a B rotate. He You'd really doesn't have the time yeah, for this. I was going to say, the break between that fake is surely going to, you know, make Kex think. Oh, no. He's oh, Kex. How have you not heard the player behind you? Blazy oh, going oh. back towards A. Kex is just oh, sitting no. still. He's just like, yeah. The fact he didn't hear that could actually cost Blazy. This is, that's my worry is I think Blazy thinks Kex is convinced it's a B now. And there's 13 seconds he's going to hold that plant. Kex could push this. This could go badly for Blazy. Oh, and it has, it has, it's gone badly. We're going to see Kex pushing up. But Blazy has got enough time to just get away. He's going to take him down. Oh, and well, that's a sigh of so relief. Much. It was so much uh, waiting and tension I cannot, on that I one. can't help but feel Blazy, at, you know, he worked for that. And Kex is not happy, really not happy. Going to try and pull away now. As it is 11-6, Volatile really need to see something special for now from them to bring this first map home for themselves. Take it away, Dennis. A whole bunch of spam going in towards that B long. Not going to get anything for Kex there. Minsk are taking out Leo. We do see a bunch of players moving out into mid. Punisher and Kex both picking up on that. Grabbing themselves each a frag they're going to be adding on to their tally that they've already grown so much of. And now with the Pansy moving forward onto Wooden. We'll see Pansy flying up towards Roof A actually. will be pulling out their Deagle. And this is the one advantage that the Deagle does give you, allows you for that long range play. And they're not actually going to be going for it, rather going to stay in tight. Knows that she shouldn't overextend herself. 
The problem is now, though, that this is more or less the same situation that Fragmasters had put themselves in a couple of rounds ago. We have a three versus three, and now Fragmasters must not get picked off. They cannot throw away this round. Circa peeking towards lower spawn building. Kex rings off a shot. The first one connects. Throws an A towards Hardware. That's unfortunately not going to connect that much. And now hearing Minska, he's like, challenge accepted. Where are you? Minska peeking out towards the lowest spawn building. Bomb goes down. Wow, and I believe oh, pu the punish is moving and taking up Minska and Blades. I was going to say, I think Kex actually tagged uh, Minska there before he went down. But either way, it will mean that Volatile is back to their four-round gap that they had before. And they need to start doing something exceptional to close up that gap completely and maybe even take the lead. Right, so let's let's kind of let's focus on what Volatile are doing right now. Let's see, let's see one of the players in A. Let's see what we've got. We've got Leonidas on stat. Fragmas Peter and Vay just pushing up A. Vay just decimating the A defense. There's no one in A now. Three players for Fragmas in A, and this round surely I'll be very impressed if Volatile managed to bring this back. Alpha looking to change that. Just get the spray. Not the frag, but the tag onto Vay. As Vay did push up into mid A. Kex looking for that pick onto Blue. Alpha's having issues with. That bomb surely looking to go down for Fragmasters soon. Whereas an SMG on top A, red dotting himself two kicks, which I can't believe I could say anything other than that is a mistake. Peter, they pick up the frag onto Alpha. There it goes, straight away. Blazy picking up the frag onto Kex. The United with the all to do. Five players to find it, and only 37 seconds to do it. Now, this could be something special. Not going to happen. Minx's Deagle silences him swiftly, and now we see 12 7. One round away from first map victory to Fragmasters, and I'm sure they are really. Really concentrating right now. You can see with on the Peter's face right there, there, there is nothing but seriousness in this. And if anything, I'm actually really surprised that um, that Alpha's on the score is currently on. Currently bottom fragging. Oh, but that is a big hit for Volatile as Pansy and Leonidas both go down. Two of their close range weapons that they were oh, hoping no. to have on A have both dropped. And very quickly, Kex is left with a massive task ahead of him. He's going to be climbing onto that pole. Can he get the shot here? Lands on to Minsk. It doesn't fall to his death. So lucky. But now has a whole bunch of players around. Well, I say a whole Explosives bunch. Planted. And has one of the SMGs around him for Fragmasters. The other one has gone to plant the bomb. So it is Bay right in front of him. <laughs> Sorry, Soaker in front of him. Soaker getting the best of him. And that is going to be 13 7 first map. Well played there. I'm from sure they definitely desired something a little bit bigger than that. Definitely now they're quickly gonna <laughs> <laughs> That's Vay there celebrating his victory. <laughs> <laughs> Very definitely happy. ecstatic Very about happy. that one. And definitely expressing how he feels about Fragmasters. Indeed. Anyway guys, that was the first map. Now Fragmasters taking a 13-7 versus Volatile. It's going to be the first map done. We'll definitely be going into map 2 very soon. So do stick around for more action from the Thermaltake Esports Quality 4 tournament at Utoxida and Epic 8. Beautiful.